Why hot water? Why not cold water? Why not warm water? What specific, why not boil water? Here it is. This is the most important. Every human being, you name. You name. No human being who came from the womb of his mother from an empty sack or just an egg came from inside the fertile development that took place throughout by a, a, the existence of a liquid we all know it's called the amniotic fluid or amni but did we step what did you take one step to understand what is amniotic fluid i call it hot water why because hot, amniotic fluid as you can realize is composed by 99 percent water and just only one person is the collagen non-collagen protein for the baby so it's hot i mean it's water the temperature is 37.5 or 99.5 degrees Fahrenheit, which is one degree higher than the body of a mother's body's temperature. Because mother's temperature, normal time, or human temperature is usually 36.5 to 37, wherever you are. You are in the North Pole, minus 50 degrees Celsius, or you're in the desert of Arabian or Texas, where it could be 50 degree, uh, degrees. I mean, the body temperature regulated by itself. So that is it. So we call that hot water is the source of creation and growth of every human being with no distinction, completely. Right. Uh, with the four essential elements of uh, life, water, we will, we will reveal here one by one what the benefits of this hot water with the four essential. But next is that hot water therapy is the only one that does all the three principal function at the same time. It kills harmful bacteria, neutralizes toxins, and melts the fat deposits inside our body. The lungs, well now, with, let's start away with the fields, one by one, water, hydrogen, oxygen, energy. Of course, we all know that the human body, I call the human body a dry fish. If you realize that, the, according to Dr. Bat Bengalij, the American scientist who passed away actually already, he was a medical doctor from, uh, and he, you are not sick, you are thirsty. Don't treat thirst with medication. Water cure, he wrote a book, many books, including water. But he was talking about water, but we benefit from his research. So the lungs, you can imagine, uh, composed of 90% water, the brain, 76% water, the bones, and so on, the overall body, 75% water, a dry fish. So it's about water, hydrate you. But let's go with the next. The oxygen in the body, you realize that the red blood cells the function is to transport oxygen to the lungs and distribute to the cells. The brain maintain, receive the highest oxygen than any organ because it's controlling everything in our body. And the body, overall body, the human body mass is, I mean, is 65% oxygen. We receive oxygen from the atmosphere, 21%. What I say here with hot water therapy is 100%. We will reveal later on why we proclaim to be 100%. And just a glimpse of that, people who live near the sea, they feel the joy, they enjoy, but now to, lead, to have a house near the sea is more expensive because that's where the hydrological cycle starts. And that's where you get the fresher oxygen more than to be in inland. But here you don't have to worry to spend your millions to buy a house near the lake. If you have that money, that's fine. But I mean, with the hot water therapy, you secure having oxygen more than the oxygen that you depend because the one from the environment is 21% maximum. The balance is nitrogen and so on. 